Hey guys, this is Ekman Jinwen. Today I'm going to show you how to install One UI 3.0 Beta 2 on your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Make sure that you already have Beta 1 installed on your device. If you have not, then you can check up on the top right corner or on description for the link and the guidance to install Beta 1. Now once that is done, make sure that you download ADB Shell if you don't have already. You can download it for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Now drag the file on the desktop. Then go to local disk and drag the file. Now once you have dragged the file, just close the window right here and then just go to start and type cmd. Press on file location and then again file location. Now press copy and go to your folder which you have downloaded and then press paste. Now what you have to do is, is to right click the CMD, go to properties, compatibility tab and run as administrator. Press OK. And now make sure that you download the beta 2 program, the ROM I mean. The link will be on the description for that as well. So once you go to this link, scroll down and you will see beta 1 and beta 2. If you click here. You have two options, you can download it from Google Drive or for faster download, then you can download this one. Now once you have download, you should have this file. Simply rename it as OTA. Now once that is done, go to the file which you have downloaded earlier and then drag it there. And now just launch CMT. Now on your device, make sure that you have sufficient battery life so that it doesn't disturb the process. Now open up your phone and then go to settings. Scroll down to the end, click on a bad device, then software info and then tap build number number seven times. Input your phone's password. Then you should see developer mode has been enabled. Now you should see a new option called developer options. Then from here, just scroll down a bit until you see USB debugging. Toggle that on, press OK, and then that's basically it. Now just connect your phone to the computer using a USB cable. Now, once you connect your phone to the computer, you should be prompt with this USB debugging permission. Simply press allow. Now on your computer, just go to the CMD and type ADB space devices. Then you should see the list of devices. It should show attached and the codes right here. If it doesn't, then there might be some problem with the ADB software on your computer. Now once this process is OK, now we should proceed with the next code. Now type ADB Reboot Recovery. Press enter. It will reboot your phone to the recovery. Now here you have to click on apply update from ADB. Press power button 
to access it. Now on your computer, just type ADB site load and then ot8.zip press enter then you should see on your device that it is processing a few moments later now on your computer everything has been done so you can close the window and disconnect the cable And that's basically it. The performance and animation is still better smooth. I'll be looking in on what changes or improvements are there on this beta too. And if you haven't checked out my previous video of almost 48 new features or improvements, then you should. Anyways guys, thanks for your support. As always, stay tuned by subscribing, like, and comment below what kind of videos you want to see next. And peace out.